Okay, we have a hydraulic start engine here. Holy cow. Someone's messed with this. Okay, crack it. It's going good. The cylinder here says how many pounds? 1,500. Okay, we have 1,500. How much do we have to go up to? 2,500. 25. Okay, 2,500, 3,000 pounds of pressure. Okay, so we've got two cylinders here. One cylinder is closed and he's pumping up that cylinder. Once we got that much pressure, we'd close this cylinder, open this one, and pump it up. So we got two cylinders, we'll be full of hydraulic pressure. On this particular engine, we have a C suction and a heat exchanger. So it, the, the seawater comes in and the hose is broken. It goes through the heat exchanger here and out over the side. So I see water being pumped out of the pipe here beneath, beneath the gunnel. Anytime you have a through the hull fitting on a ship or a boat, there's always a valve to turn it off. So if you break a hose, you don't sink the vessel. So if you don't get any water, check your C suction to make sure the valve is open to give the engine water. What? Are, are we there yet? Nope. Okay, we got a relief here for you. All right. That's why you always want to have trainees in the boat with you. They got strong wrists. Okay, now I get you to throw. While he's doing that, we've got this white line here. Step in the bottom and take the red lever red lever in the bottom where the white line is. Okay, the lever that drops the boat. Now when, I want you to throw that, open that lever up and watch each end of the boat. See this turn? All the way in between. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way. Okay, see how that one opens up there? It's the same thing. Both ends turned at the same time. Okay, so when he release at both ends and the boat is released from the falls. Okay, go ahead and close it. And you can see when he closes it, this little collar will turn all the way down. Got a relief here for you. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Almost in 2500. If I'm going to re-hook this, I close these and I open my preventer bar and I can put it in, drop it down, it won't drop out. Where are we at? Almost 2,500. Okay. Do you see your grab rail on the bottom of the boat there on the turn of the bilge? On both sides of your grab rail? Down under the boat. It's on the bilge straight. Look at your three rows of plating on this boat. This there is we an go. Old. Are we there? 2,500. Okay. Put your lever back in there. Your lifelines are on both sides and they have a seam float. They're for people that don't have room in the lifeboat. They hang on to those. Okay. Now, we've got hydro. This is my starter on this boat. So I will turn it. That's it. I would try to start it. How much pressure we got? The wind down. 2019. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so I, I'm not going to kill the battery. I've got a couple of people to crank, but start it again. That's ah. okay. But we'll save it for the next class. Where's the okay. kill switch that lets air in? Right in front. This this one is engages the gear, and there's another lever out the front and on those, and that opens up the air. Okay. But you have no battery on this. No. This one. Now the newer ones that enclosed boats, they have batteries, and when the boat is stowed, it's usually plugged in and trickle charge going on. And that's one of the jobs, you unplug it. They're usually designed that if you forget, when you launch the boat, it pulls the plug out automatically, usually. They don't want you doing that, they want you to manually release it. Okay, you guys can put the cover back on. Um, there's a bilge pump right in the middle of the boat. How many people will this boat hold? 40. Okay, we see it on the side bench and on the thwarts and up on the bow. <coughs> you see the brackets, now even though this is an open boat. These brackets here on the sides and in the middle up would come up and go over and you'd have a canvas to pull over this boat. So it'd be like it's off a rag top to protect you from the elements. The brackets on the sides, every place there's a thwart, you see a bracket. Yes, it's bolted and that bolts the side bench into the thwarts and holds it all together. On the stern, notice that this is for my sweep oar, my sweep oar line. This one is like your rowing oar. 
pull on your oar yesterday and have that thing jump out of the sweet four lock? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you're doing that standing up, you can fall right over the side. So on the sweet four, they may say, lash it to the stern. Tie a line around it, lash it down. Okay. Um, builder's plate is up on the port side, up on the bow. Someone go up there and look at the builder's plate for me and find out when this thing was built. How old is it? Any guesses? What? 1967. 1967. Where was it built now? Farmingdale, New Jersey. Farmingdale, New Jersey. Okay. Um, nowadays, a lot of the big brand names we don't make much of the U.S. anymore at all. Okay. Wooden door. It's our fuel. We have water in there. Our provisions are under the tank. Um, this boat's a motorized, so it still has four rowing oars and a sweep oar in it. This, uh, what ship did this lifeboat come off of? Should be right up there, right? Okay, and where is it registered at? Norfolk, Virginia. Okay. That brings us up to any questions. Our propeller is missing. You see our three rows of plating on the side. Sheer bilge and garbage straight. You see the keel, the stem and stern post. All the construction we talked about yesterday is here. So this kind of Yeah. That oh, most of those are wooden. It's got, if you look on the back, it's got the uh, gudgeon to support it, but it, it's not in the boat. That's a gunnel. The gunnel. Gunnel. Uh, water would be coming out of this thing right here. What's that? Water would be coming out of that right there to the base. Hopefully not. Oh, oh, you're talking about the packing land? Yeah. yeah. That's where it would be dripping, right there is that little connection. One is the AC engine to push here. This is this large one. The other one is for the throttle and one for the pull out. Pull out and shut the air off. Throttle, press the button, pull it out. That engages, is that, there's no reverse? Um, supposedly, pull it one, forward, pull it again, neutral, pull it again, reverse, and then in line. I haven't used it. Okay. Your bilge pump, you just pump it. Yeah, this is a hand pump. He was joking. This is when it sucks water out of the bottom. The hose would go out over the side, used for getting water out easier than bail. And it gets the water beneath the bottom board. Okay, time for us to go on break. We made it to the first break. <laughs>